exhibiting vegetables at a fair can be a way for you to show off your skills as a gardener and it actually can be quite rewarding. Today I want to take you through the steps of how to get ready for the fair and get your vegetables ready to be exhibited. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you get a fair book and the fair book is always going to be the law of the land and give you the rules on how you need to prep your vegetables and how many are required to be shown for that exhibit. So you want to make sure that you get those rules in hand and read them. The first thing that you want to look for when you're choosing your, your produce is to make sure that you have vegetables that are true to variety. And what we mean is that if you're exhibiting a red tomato, then you want to make sure that you choose red tomatoes and not mix in pink ones or mix in uh, other varieties with them. So they all need to be of the same variety. The next thing to look for would be maturity. Now some vegetables are shown either mature or immature. Tomatoes, for example, can be shown mature when they're red, or in some exhibits they're allowed to be shown green. But in all cases, they need to be shown either all green or all red. Peppers would be another example. They are typically shown immature when they're green, but some shows will allow them to be shown mature when they are fully colored, which can be red, purple, yellow, or, or various colors. But again, they all need to be the same color. Vegetables such as beans are typically shown when they're slightly immature before those pods have begun to fill out with the beans on the inside. So uh, generally they should be smaller in size rather than very large with the pods very full to the inside. The next the consideration when you're selecting the vegetables is to look for the condition of them. And by condition what we mean is that they need to be free of any spots, diseases, blemishes. That could be insect, it could be disease, it could be mechanical damage, or if they're actually very old or too mature, they're going to begin to go downhill. The general rule of thumb is to think about what you would be buying at the grocery store, what is the quality that you would be choosing for cooking purposes. Also any vegetables that are going to be broken or damaged in the case where the tips are missing from the uh, carrots or if there's damage along the side, these should be avoided at all cost. Again what we're looking for is the ideal prime vegetable that is at its peak quality. The next thing to look for when we're going to be exhibiting is the size of the vegetables. Ideally, they should all be uniform in size, shape, color, and of course, as I mentioned, the variety itself. So when you're selecting the, the produce, and typically they're shown in multiple numbers, threes, fives, again, the rule book will tell you how many you need to exhibit, but they all ideally need to be the same size or as near as possible. So those potatoes are obviously not close enough in size. These eggplants, on the other hand, are very uniform in size, they're uniform in shape, they're uniform in color, and they're all uniform at the same stage of maturity, so they would be a, an ideal exhibit there. So those are the main considerations when you're choosing your, your produce. Once you have selected it, some of them might need to be cleaned, and in some cases that's going to be nothing more than taking a soft cloth and wiping the vegetable off so that you remove any dirt or debris that is there. On the other hand, some vegetables such as the beets or the carrots might need a little bit more work to get the dirt that is out of them, and so a soft brush would help in doing so. But you want to be careful because if you brush too hard, what you're going to do is damage the skin and scruff it up, and that's going to be a fault for them. Things such as sponges or other utensils might be helpful or useful in cleaning them up as well. So once you've washed them and cleaned them, the final step would be to transport them to the fair. And so simply taking something like newspaper or tissue paper and then wrapping them up very carefully is a way to get each of those vegetables to the fair in a safe condition. Hopefully these will give you some tips for that blue ribbon at the fair. Mm -hmm.